Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. I realized the other day that it has been a very long time since I have done a full beauty rundown, like a full beauty routine rundown going through everything that I'm loving at the moment. I haven't even been doing beauty favorites videos lately. So now that we're all stuck at home, it would be a good time to do a bit of a home beauty routine sort of video. With the world being in the state it is at the moment, I think it's so important for us to practice self-care and to be really looking after ourselves while we are stuck at home. So yeah, if you would like to have a sneak peek into my weekly beauty routine from home keep on watching <laughs> So my beauty routine 100% starts in the bathtub. I am obsessed with baths. I will stay in a bath for like four hours if I could. I just grab a book, stay in there, I soak, I let all my fake tan get soft so I can scrub it off. Usually around once a week when my fake tan is starting to get a little bit patchy or I want to redo it, I will run a bath and my favorite thing to use in a bath is a Lush bath bomb. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see my stories all the time using Lush bath bombs. I'm obsessed with them. They make the bath so amazing and smell delicious. What I love about them most of all is if you soak in them for an hour or so, your skin gets so, so soft that all of the fake tan on you will actually just sort of rub off really, really easily and it's like my favorite thing to do. Grab a book, put some candles on and it just makes your fake tan come off so smooth and so easily. Then I like to grab my razor and I shave my entire body so that I'm super smooth and ready for the fake tan. This is also in preparation for my IPL hair removal, which is a major part of my beauty routine. So I've actually been using IPL hair removal for the past year or so at home and I absolutely love it. I swear by it. I've been using it in like more sensitive areas and they're basically hair free. I just have to top it up every few weeks now. So this is the Braun Silk Expert Pro 5. Personally, I find IPL works best for me in regions such as the bikini line and underarms as you need the hair to be darker in order for an IPL device to work effectively. However, for the purpose of this video, I am going to demonstrate on my legs. As you can see, the device is super compact and easy to use. All you have to do is first of all, turn it on and allow it to adjust to your skin tone. Then you simply glide the device along the areas that you desire. Glide mode actually triggers more flashes for a faster treatment. With this one, you'll actually start to see permanent hair removal results within four weeks, which is amazing because often it can actually take a bit longer than that. You can also do individual patches instead if it is smaller areas like the underarms and it comes with a separate head for the more hard to reach places. Another thing that I love about this device is that it automatically and continuously reads and adapts to your skin tone, which makes sure that your IPL device is always set to the perfect level for you and is safe. In fact, it's the safest, fastest, and most efficient at-home IPL on the market. You can actually get hair removal like this done in a salon, but I actually prefer to do it at home because I feel a lot more comfortable at home. It makes me feel safe. Appointments in the salon are quite expensive as well, and this way you do have the products with you at all times, and you can top it up as much as you need to. Okay, so this is the section that I probably get the most questions about my hair. I get so many questions about my hair. Um, what products I use, what curlers I use, what straighteners I use, etc. These are actually extensions, so don't take my word for it on that. Okay, I am going to be concentrating today more on my weekly hair routine, so I'm not going to go into the details of like hair tutorials or anything like that, what um, curlers or straighteners I use, but if you would like to know more, please let me know in the comments and I will think about doing some tutorials because I have nothing else to do while I'm in isolation. So my weekly hair routine is pretty straightforward. I wash my hair probably every five days as I don't like to strip my hair too much of its natural oils. The shampoo and conditioner I am currently using is by Playa, which is available from Mecca. I also try to only use products that are without ingredients like sulfate, silicons, and parabens, and I always check the labels to make sure first. Every second wash, I like to do a hair mask. This one I am using today is by Briogeo. I also really love the Bondi Boost one, but I am currently empty. So while that works its magic, I finish off the rest of my shower routine, which includes washing my face. At the moment, I am loving mixing this go-to skincare foam cleanser with these exfoliating grains by Bare Minerals that you can add to any cleanser. Then I scrub myself clean with some Lush body wash, clean my teeth and wash the mask out of my hair. The rest of my hair routine is fairly simple. I try my hardest to minimize the use of heat and 90% of the time allow my hair to dry naturally. Although when necessary, my go-to hair dryer is my Dyson. I also love this Aveda blow dry spray, which is amazing at making your hair dry faster. What I love about the Dyson is that it is actually better for your hair than most hair dryers, which can easily cause damage over time. And it is super quiet. For my skincare routine, I am incredibly consistent. If I'm gonna change a product, I will only introduce it really gradually and it actually won't have many different 
ingredients to the last products I was using. I like to keep things quite consistent because my skin does freak out if I do anything too different. So I'm starting off with this Mario Badescu facial spray and spritzing it all over my face. Now my favorite is actually the cucumber one, but I recently finished that one up, so we're going in with the original. Then I like to go in with a serum and this one is by Kate Somerville. I have really found myself reaching for more firming and collagen based serums recently as I am getting into my late 20s. Finishing up with moisturizer, this is my second tub of Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream and I swear it has cured my dry skin. This is the best moisturizer I have ever used. And speaking of best products, this Marc Jacobs Coconut Lip Oil is honestly the most amazing lip product I have ever tried. If you suffer from dry lips like me, this is your product. Now, while we're on the topic of skincare, let's pretend it's nighttime and go in with an eye cream. The one I have been reaching for lately is by Saturday Skin. And my nighttime routine always ends with a rosehip oil. Now I have gone through so many different brands of these and they are all amazing. Rosehip oil is rosehip oil. But here are a few of my favorites, all available at either Mecca or Sephora here in Australia. Finally, a special mention to a couple of products. This Sand and Sky Pink Clay Mask is currently my go-to once a week. Micellar Water is my go-to makeup remover. And to keep my skin moisturized, I have been loving Nivea's Body Moisturizers and moisturize my body every three days. So I think that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all having a lovely day. I hope you learned some tips. Now really is the time, if you can afford to do so, to get online and shop locally. It is really important that we support our local economy. So if you are tempted to buy that eye cream or to give a go to IPL hair removal at home, I would really recommend now is a great time if you can afford it because we really need to keep the money going in our economy while everything's shut down. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're keeping sane at home and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Oh, you gotta say hello to my video. Oh, he's fast asleep. He's had a big day at the vets, haven't you, Babs? Some big needles or a big boy.